What's going on, good people? Good evening, everyone. Greetings, Facebook and and um, my YouTube channel and all of that good stuff. Calvin Bridges and Minyan. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for joining. Just waiting on my guests to get on, get settled and get on in here, too. How y'all doing tonight? Everybody good? I hope everybody's had a great day. It's been a busy day for me, but God is still good anyhow. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes um, before everybody jumps in. I know the uh, debate and stuff was tonight, too, or is tonight, too. So uh, we're going to still get started in a bit and get going. So tonight uh, is about um, making music with Marcus G. Morton. And we're going to talk a bit about uh, the creative process uh, in creating uh, my debut project that will be released uh, this year entitled Mighty and Great. Uh, if you haven't gotten the single already, the single is out there. So you can go grab the single. The single is also the title cut for the entire project. So very excited about it. Um, it's just been a lot. It's been a, a serious process. Um, but, you know, yet I'm grateful. There's my nephew, Jordan. You here? Hear me? You good? I'm good. Good. Oh, Don, something's going on here. Here we go. All right, there you go. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Ted. That's for you. What's going on, nephew? How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, you sat over here on the um, on Instagram too. You good? Um, not on Instagram. So go to my live. I should show you that I'm live already. Ah, now I see it. Okay. Okay, click that, and then once you come in there, hit request to be in live video. All right. I see. I think we're about to be cooking with gas. Hit request to be in live video. Look, there go your mama here, too. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> hey, ma. <laughs> there you go. You got your volume adjusted. Yep. All right. Well, good evening, everybody. Jordan Lawrence Dillard. Hi, nephew. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see your face and so good to have you on. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Yeah. Like I'm good. So, look, we're not going to be at this real long. We're just going to talk a little bit. And I want the people to know who you are and, you know, um, the song and everything that that you have on my record. And we're going to just kind of talk about that a little bit. So tonight, guys, thank you for joining us. Uh, my guest is none other than my nephew and songwriter, Jordan Dillard. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, the song that he has on my upcoming project. Uh, I'm using this time with Making Music with Marcus G. Morton to uh, highlight my writers and some of my producers and all of that good stuff, just so you guys know who all the players are. Um, this project has been five years in the making, and it is now time to... Uh, God has given the go ahead to release. So uh, here we go. <laughs> and we're getting ready to uh, launch. So Jordan, tell the people who you are and tell them a little bit about you. Um, my name is Jordan Dillard, born and raised right here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, born into a musical family. Uh, love sports. Um, love sports, but I've always been around music, uh, all things music. My mother being a um, a writer of, of her in her own right. Um, grew up watching Marcus and <laughs> family. He mentioned like a family record and things. So I was around for that process. So music has always been something that I was around. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I love the creative process of music. Um, Got you. So what are what is it that you're doing now? What do you what do you, what do you have going on? Um, I just wrote a book called uh, Clearing Hurdles, Facing Life's Obstacles with Determination to Win. Uh, it talks about um, my testimony be being in my car accident at five months old and having bleeding on the brain, bleeding on the abdomen, multiple skull fractures, contusions, my stomach and lungs, paralysis on my left side. Uh, so I walked through that story and talked about the life lessons that I learned just from the incident 
and everything I was to follow afterwards uh, in hopes that it would help people to be able to clear the hurdles in their life. Wow. Um, so let's talk about that for a second. Um, what you guys are viewing right now is literally uh, a miracle. Jordan is a miracle. Um, to have walked through that entire process um, and you were a baby, but my dad was in the hospital at the same time that you were one floor apart. Uh, he had a car accident that same week. So um, it's just, you know, it's amazing to see uh, your growth, your development, and you didn't let anything stop you uh, from achieving your goals, you, your, your degree. Let's talk about school and all of that. What, Guys, he was in an accident at five months old. They basically told his mom, and she's she's right here and can testify as well. <laughs> they prepared them for the worst, basically, that Jordan was not going to live. But again, what you see right now is a miracle. So talk about your accomplishments thus far. We, we got that, you know, you are an author. Uh, talk about, you know, your school. Let's talk about that. Um, I went to Oral Roberts University and I studied advertising. Um, God blessed, I was able to graduate on time. Um, while I was at Oral Roberts University, I sang with a few um, groups, Souls of Fire, and um, their gospel team. I was also uh, worked along with the, new, the school newspaper, so I was pretty involved with the school. Um, but God blessed it that you know I was able to graduate on time and finish with my degree. Uh, during that time while I was there, uh, in school, my neurologist released me and said that I didn't need to be on medication anymore, um, as well as her not being not not needing to see me anymore as as well. So God completely wiped you know, all of my medical issues during that time as well. Wow, now, and we're, I'm so grateful to even just sit here and have this <laughs> conversation with you to have lived through this whole process with you. I think it's just, it's just so dope. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the song that you have on my project. Um, it's called I Need You. So talk a little bit about that and talk to us a little bit about I Need You and where it came from and how it came to be in our conversation leading up to even recording it. Let's let's talk about that. Yeah, I Need You uh, came from a place of worship. I was in my dorm room worshiping and praying with God at the time um, It just telling him how much I needed him and what it is that I was chasing him for. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I need you. I wanted it to be a hearts, uh, a hearts petition type of song um, where people can hear the heart, um, hear the heart of the worshiper and people can make their requests known to God. Um, so I just started telling him like, God, I need you. I'm chasing after you. And these are the things that I want from you. These are the things that I need from you. Um, because you know, the Bible says, you know, seeking you'll find, knocking the door shall be open. You know, asking you shall have these things. So if, I, if we don't make our petitions known to God, you know, he knows what to give us, but he's not going to make you say the things. You have to open your mouth and ask him for what you want. So I wanted to create this song, a song that allows people to ask God for the petitions, for the desires of their heart. Wow, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I'm smiling and, and, and grinning because like, I literally, <laughs> I love this boy, <laughs> this young man. Now. But this, this, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. So let's talk about um, the song overall. So we, we talked a little bit. You said you had something and you wanted to send it to me and wanted me to hear it. And you had no idea that I was even recording at the time. Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> so <laughs> it, what ended up happening is uh, Jordan, you know, said, hey, I have something I want you to kind of hear and put your ears to and see, you know, what you think about it. So the first thing for me was that um, I was honored that you trusted me enough um, to even consider sending it to me to hear it. Uh, and once I heard it, it, it grabbed me immediately. Like you just said, it's, the, it's about the heart of the worshiper uh, and, you know, the petition of the worshiper. And 
the simplicity of it is amazing lyrically and everything. Um, so I said, Jordan, I'm recording. And I said, um, what you think about me recording it? Your response. <laughs> I was, man, I was, again, honored first that you would consider it being on my record, but I was very shocked because I didn't know that you had a recording. So mom was just like, show this to him. And I showed it to you. And he's like, hey, I'm recording. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was very shocked and elated and honored that you saw it worthy enough to be a, a part of your project. It means everything to me that it's a part of the project. Um, I'm so incredibly proud of the man that you've become. Oh, and now husband. Let's talk about that. <laughs> you didn't you didn't get married. I did. Married life is wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. In the right time, I don't rush to it, but it's wonderful. <laughs> Jordan is married, y'all. Um so that's it's crazy. But yeah, congratulations on that as well. So, you know, Jordan is, like you said, like I said, a songwriter, he's an author, um, he's an overcomer. Um, so I wanted you guys to, you know, get to know who this young man is. Jordan, tell everybody um, where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at imj.lawrence. Um, if you're looking for my business page, it's imj.lawrence. Uh, for my personal, it would be Jordan Dillard. Um, the distinction between the two, um, yeah, my personal would be Jordan Dillard. My business and Instagram would be imj.lawrence. Um, and then I'm on YouTube as well. Uh, I do motivational videos or inspirational tips and uh, tidbits on Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, so that's IMJ Lawrence as well. You, do this is so amazing to me. <laughs> it is so me up because it's just like, yo, he a grown man. <laughs> so what have you been doing in the pandemic? How have you uh, been coping with the pandemic? And uh, well, you got married during the pandemic, so I guess you're doing all right. Um, <laughs> so talk to me a bit about uh, how you've been during the pandemic. Uh, just embracing this new journey of you know, being a newlywed, um, so spending a lot of time with my wife and learning and uh, understanding each other and walking through this part of life together. Um, it's how I've been spending you know, this season of the pandemic before marriage, uh, doing a lot of creating uh, just because I love to create. Um, so finding new type of YouTube uh, videos or content that I can do to help inspire people. Uh, mainly this pandemic has been, you know, being spent trying to tell people or show people that they can clear hurdles in their life and try and walk that out um, and show them as much as possible and try and be, as, try and be transparent and you know, show people that hurdles are, you are able to clear hurdles. You know, it's, it's, it's a mind thing and that, if you can overcome the mind, you can overcome anything. Absolutely. And you you have really done that. You have cleared so many hurdles. Um, and I'm just amazed uh, just at the, at the man that you are today, Jordan. I'm, I can't say enough to you uh, how proud I am of you. Um, and, you know, that you're just so amazing, man. <laughs> um, so are you still writing music or, you know, do you still have other songs in your arsenal or what are you doing with that portion? What are you doing with that portion? Um, I am still writing no songs in the arsenal yet, but um, you can look forward to me um, bringing some more songs out there. Um, I always want to make sure if, there is a song that I want to release that, again, it comes from uh, a vulnerable place, a worshiping place, something that ministered to me first before it can minister to somebody else. Um, so you can expect more um, in time. So you just said something there, making sure that it 
touches you in your heart um, before you release it. Let's talk about that. What does what does that mean for you? What is explain that part of worship, if you will? What does that mean to you? Um. Okay, we go we go through tests and trials, and in those tests and trials, there are lessons that God wants us to learn in those tests, and those t- tests produce different things that are able to bless other people. So through the test that you go through, it produces a song or it produces a book or it produces a poem or it produces a clothing line. It produces something that God imparted into you so that you can impart into others. So through that test, God imparted a lesson that the world needs to learn from. It's never just for you. It's always for somebody else. Oh, Jordan. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, no better answer than that. Uh, but again, you know, I'm I'm super proud of you. Uh, I'm grateful uh, for the journey. You know, your mom is here. So, you know, well done, Sandy, uh, you know, and all of those that have had a hand, um, you know, in that. You know your dad, your brothers, and all everybody. So you know, shout your people out, man. Talk, talk, talk sure, my mom. I know you on here. Uh, Sandra Ellis, uh, my father. I don't know if he's on here, but Kevin Dillard Sr. Uh, my younger brother Jared. You know, shout out to you. Shout out to uh, my older brother Kevin Jr. as well. Um, last but not least, uh, shout out to my beautiful wife uh, Alexis Dillard. Um, you I appreciate you. Wife out, boy. <laughs> That's your wife I out. appreciate you for walking with me through this journey. Um, and to all of you who have played a part in me becoming the man that I am, thank you for the examples that you've shown to me. Um, and thank you for covering me in prayer. Um, because I know that it would not, it would, it, without God touching your hearts to be an example to me, I would not be where I am. So thank you to all of you. Oh, Jordan, man, it's again, it's my honor, man. <laughs> it's my honor. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited for, you know, the things that you are doing and the things that you're about to do. So guys, uh, Jordan Diller, uh, his song on my upcoming project is called I Need You. Um, the lyrics are very simple. I'm chasing after your glory. I'm chasing after you. Uh, I'm chasing after your presence. I'm chasing, I'm chasing after you. Um, and a lot of times, you know, that's where we need to be. We need to be in constant prayer and be um, in constant pursuit of of God. We can't do anything without Him. So uh, we just got to keep that at the forefront. So that that's huge, Jordan. That's huge. Uh, I'm excited about it. Um, just so you are aware, uh, this year, uh, everybody will get to hear uh, what you have blessed my project with. So I, I again appreciate you for being one of the writers uh, on this uh, project. Um, your mom just popped in too. The song was so powerful at the recording. I mean, it was a moment. It was a moment, um, and it was it, it was it was just great. So I can't wait, you know, for you to to hear it and all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so guys, I want to thank everybody tonight. Um, for joining in to Making Music with Marcus G. Morton. Jordan, tell them one more time where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at imj.lawrence. You can find me on my business Facebook at imj.lawrence, my personal at Jordan Dillard, and my YouTube at imj.lawrence. Uh, thank you again. Uh, I need everybody to go support him. Um, go by his book, Clearing Hurdles. Um, are you still doing t-shirts too? I still got t-shirts. It's all available on my uh, website, uh, clearinghurdles.online. T-shirts, hoodies, uh, hats. I call it clothing that inspires. So clearinghurdles.online? Clearinghurdles.online. Okay. So we're going to make sure that the people know where the stuff is, where they can go. So you can go and go to his website here and purchase his book and all other products out there. Y'all please support my nephew. Um, and you know, 
I promise, I promise that you won't be disappointed. But you can also find me uh, at Marcus G. Morton Ministries on Facebook. You can find me at Marcus G. Morton on Instagram. Uh, you can find me uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, Marcus G. Morton. And you can also find me on Twitter at Marcus G. Morton as well. If you have not already, please go to wherever you buy your, your digital music from and grab the title cut and single, Mighty and Great, which is available right now. Uh, that's the title cut of the full project as well, that Jordan's uh, song, I Need You, will be featured on. Uh, and while you're out there, you can also uh, grab my debut single, Sovereign, which is also on this upcoming project as well. So please, please, please go out and grab it. Any last words, Jordan? Um, stay encouraged. I would say to anyone who, uh, wants to be a writer, uh, write, write, um, be, you know, be vulnerable in your writing and trust God. Don't give up. Uh, it's a process, uh, but it will happen. You know? Better is the ending of a thing than the beginning of it. Even if it starts rough, uh, the ending will always end on top. Stay with God and watch what he does in your life. Encourage the people, nephew. <laughs> <That's a failure. laughs> Well, I love you. I appreciate you. Um, I need everybody to share this uh, to your um, to your pages and things like that. And again, please support my nephew. Uh, I love you and I will be talking to you soon. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, it's been such a pleasure and such an honor. Um, and uh, give give love to the wife for me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And, love you too. Uh, <laughs> and I will talk to you soon, Jay. Love you, man. Thank you all again for joining tonight. Uh, be looking out on my pages and all that stuff for updates and all of that good stuff. Um, you know, for the next time that we'll be sitting down with, you know, one of the writers and all of that good stuff. I have amazing content and stuff coming up soon. So please, please, by all means, follow me and um, on all of my so all of my platforms. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon, Jay. Talk to you soon. <laughs>